Okay, so we're right in the beginning of our stage one installation. JK Wrangler, this is 2015. Okay, so we just took the air intake, the factory air intake out of the way. I'm gonna pull this one little push pin right here. And this is gonna enable us to um, pull up and remove this factory coolant tank. All right, so pretty clean up on top here. I'll remove the radiator cap, okay? And then from the bottom, I'll remove the radiator cap and then from the bottom, we'll drain the coolant into a clean catch container. That way we can reuse it. Okay, so I just got my clean pan here. I got it in the air so you can see better, but you can do this on the ground very simply. Um, this little nipple right here, reach up in there, grab it. about a half a turn open. Okay, continuing on, we have the factory coolant pipe. Our kit re requires removal of the coolant heater pipe here. Um, we're actually gonna remove it in the end all the way from the heater core at the firewall, all the way down to the last bypass pipe down here. Now, the reason for uh, is fitment around this area down the front where the turbocharger goes, we don't, it gets too close here, that doesn't really work for us. So we gotta be, be able to remove this. Now we're gonna remove the pipe, which is over 200 degrees at all times, so everything here gets real hot. And we're gonna replace it with a high quality um, covered heater hose. So this is gonna be pliable, we're gonna put it where we need it, mold it, you're gonna see how it's gonna work real well. In black, of course, gonna give it a good OE look, good finish, uh, and the components are just gonna disappear like it was made that way. All right, now, these, these hoses are already pre-cut. They already come just like this. You don't have to figure out which one goes on which end and do all the rest of that. Some of this is pre-assembled, okay? Especially in this case right here. So real simple. Now, these clamps, see if we can zoom in here. We see a clamp. This one's black. Can you see this clamp pretty good? Now this clamp here, there's a couple different tools you can use. You can use, you know, conventional like this, you know, we can grab it and we can kind of fight with it. As you can see here, get it where we want it. And pull it back and we can do like this. That works okay if that's what you got. This tool right here is actually made for this. So we can put it on the end. We can put it on the end, put it over here. like this, and as we flip this down like this, it'll stay. So real simple, this one works well. And the last tool is made for these special crimp type clamps. We've got the cable tool. So this, you're gonna put it on there, squeeze it one time, it stays clipped. Then you can move it around, take it off, and so on. So whichever one you got, and whichever one's easy for you, go with it. All right, we'll keep it basic. Some of them are easier to get to, different variety, but they all work. And the end result, you just wanna take them off, okay? So the top one here, we're gonna do the upper on the pipe down here, leaving the hose, okay? We're gonna leave the hose attached, but we're gonna take the upper pipe off. Now this one I think is a little easier to get with this, so I'll reach down here with this, stick it on there, Give it a squeeze. Watch your fingers. When these things come off, man, they'll whack in the thumb. Will not feel good. So we got one. Stop, stop, I stopped right there. Where's your flashlight? 
Right there. Okay. Take a look right here. So we got to this next hose, okay? The first one came right off. Simple. Got to the next hose, and really, it doesn't want to come off. The tool I use here, can you see it pretty good? The tool I use here, pick. It's not sharp, it's kind of dull. I get it in here, okay? Get it there, and I just kind of go around the outside. Just give it a little bit of movement to get it off of there. Then, simple as that. Okay, last one down here. This was that last hose actually goes down and goes to the oil cooler. We got that one there. Let's see if this needs to be undone at all. Looks like it's coming off really simple, but I'll just give it a quick. Just around the outside. That hose will be reused later. Okay, so we're off here. We'll do the same to the bottom of these. Down there catching all this cool. Okay, so we got all the hoses off. Let's go take the two 10 millimeters out. There's one. There's the second one. Let's carefully remove. Maneuver this pipe set up and out. Here we go. Okay, let's get this last one off right here. This one again may, may lose, a little, lose a little coolant. Try to rotate it. If not, you're going to have to get in there. Get behind it. Once you get behind it, it's come right off. If you're forcing it, you're working too hard. Good. Okay, so we got the hose off. Now, this pipe goes down. It's press fit into here. We need to rotate this all up. It's a great picture of it, but I'm going to show you how to do it right now. You want to put a wrench in here. I use this size right here, 19 millimeter. Put it here, and then you want to slowly just give it a little bit, and it'll start to go, and then it goes. Okay? Get it up something like that, because we're going to get our hose on it in a later step, plus our clamp. So it's going to look like that. All right? Okay, so now we got this area cleared out here pretty good. This lower radiator hose, you see how it's in the way here. Our turbocharger's gonna go here, our downpipe, you know, everything's gonna be right in this area. So this is too far out. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna remove this clamp. We're gonna move it back here until it's just on the straight edge here. Leave it there, we're gonna use that as our straight edge. Cut this hose and then we'll rotate it back around here and you'll see how this hose is gonna tuck up in there real nicely.
I like a real long blade for this. Just makes it makes it a one shot deal. So simple. Okay, so we got a cut. Let's get it back up on here. See what it looks like. You know, can get it up in there. No problem. Move that back around here. Ready to go.